button check. I'm not sure. We'll find out in just a moment. It's a matchup in characters that they're both going to be very familiar with. Yes. No, it looks, like it looks real. Into it. Okay. Yep. I feel like this might be... I don't know if it's a tough matchup for Zagat, but... Even when he just has that damage potential at all times. I do like what Gachi Kun is doing at the start, though. He's constantly buffering, and he's looking for that one moment where Daigo chooses to step in or jump and take his momentum away immediately. I can see that beat, that medium kick from Evil Ryu being really good. This range, obviously, as always, is so good for Evil Ryu. Crouch medium kick fireball. Yeah, the low forward is most annoying because it does essentially gel you. You can't really get out except at max range, right? right. Uh, it is a seven frame move, though, so That's you can true. still counter it at times. Nice. Chase now did not get an uppercut. And Daigo definitely makes him pay. Nice break. Daigo with corner control. Yeah, just harassing with that medium. That really is fan off. Yeah, that normal is really annoying for Sagat to deal with as well. Most of most of his pokes will go underneath. It's just a really good angle. Yes. It's a good poke in a lot of matchups. Oh! Finds a stab. Oh, that was close. That was it close. Was. Gachi Kun had control of a large portion of that round, in fact, until yeah. he got cornered. Something he showed in the first one I'd like to see more of. He used Stan Fears to trade with the Fireball. I'd like to see him try that again. It was actually really strong. Gotcha Kun really trying to stay outside of that Stan medium kick range. He loved, loved to throw Fireballs. Loved to not be at risk for a jump in when he throws a Fireball. Nice yeah. CX. Yeah, you know Oh, this is, that's what I was worried about. Save the meter, actually. That's something that Daigo does a lot nowadays. Is he saves that super to threaten with Evil Ryu's super. Yep. Instant command grab. He's buffering it there with what? those. Yeah, nice. That was sick. Tried to follow up, but missed it. And that's a chance for Gachi. Oh, that oh, might big be combo. it. That's it. Yep. Strong execution there. And Daigo. When Daigo first picked that character up, he was a little shaky in some of that execution. But nowadays, that was a year ago. Yeah, that was a nowadays, while ago. Nowadays. He looks good. He was compared to Sako a lot at that time, who had stronger execution. Yes. He did. But yeah, Daigo's good now with that. Definitely. Always definitely been on good point, on the rest, on all the rest of the stuff he's always had. Mm -hmm. You know this character's not too unlike Ryu in the end. Right. Does have higher damage, which is nice. I got you trying to play some offense a little bit. At least not get backed up, you know, move. His opponent into the corner if he can. Just really to avoid that situation. What? Oh, yeah! And confirm. So much damage on this. We're going to go into animation. That was a true confirm on the way in. It wasn't just the roundhouse. He saw that, that tiger yeah, shot coming out. And he went for the max damage that he could get without oh, spending no. far. Is that two mistakes? No, okay. Missed on the Tatsu and he paid for it. Oh, uh, wow. That was an interesting choice. Wake up toward medium kick. You know, I've seen on Wake Up. A lot of unusual tech at this tournament in general. I've okay. seen people who think you have the read under reversal say, okay, I'm going to do something completely that you would not expect. And it's been working surprisingly well. Nice F8 to see. We're going to get a lot of damage off of this. Double show you for the extra bar. School. Yeah, it's all Daigo right now. He has, still has three bars. Walking in and out of that range. Oh, that's so, that's so good. Medium. So devastating. Oh, oh no. Big miss again. That's how he lost in the previous game. And that was enough. Match point, Daigo and Mahara. Again, this is loser's side. Gachi Kun at risk. Nice. That's what I want to see. And then he was just too uh, cautious there as he pressured Daigo. Well, Daigo's had that read a couple of times now. Yeah, huge damage again. And Daigo's definitely got him cornered. We're going to probably see more of this stand medium kick. Ooh, walk up. See, if I was playing, I would be dead too because I would think that stand medium kick is coming. Yup. Amazing mix-ups. Could not finish the job. Okay, hold on. Gachiku not out of it. He's got to make some big bets though. It's not. It, it can't be light. He needs to. Oh, no, he was. He was. He was he reaching was for the stars right there. He was there. trying to bet it. Yep. Yeah. All right. So Daigo will take it. He's looking. He's looking comfortable right now. He knows what he needs to do. He's been in this position many a time before. Yeah, he is in loser side, but. Still has a chance to get through, of course. I mean, we're trying to get the top eight. That's the goal. Hey, losers just means you need to win twice in grand finals. Yeah, that's right. Uh, thanks to Mad Cats for being one of the major supporters at EVO 2015 uh, and of the CPT in general. They sponsor Daigo, by the way. They do, as you can see. He was just <laughs> wearing their shirt. That's right. Uh, check them out at store.madcats.com and slash EVO 2015.
This is where you can see what they guys. have going on now. They've got lots of cool products in the store right now. Indeed. Actually, everything here is sold out already, I've heard. Did they really? <laughs> only wow. Friday, right? And it's not like they brought only a little bit of stuff. I saw what their booth was like, and that thing was filled. Wow. Everything's gone. So I guess the only place to get it now is uh, store.madcats.com. Go get it if you need it. Yeah. Hey, if you want to play Skullgirls on PS4, woo! That's you right. Get that PS4 stick. That's right. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, okay, so up next. Fight. Whoa.